Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am T, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you guys can hear me because I do have my grow tent fan running so it could be a little loud but I'm gonna try to talk over it. I hope you guys are truly enjoying this upcoming spring. I'm absolutely so ready <laughs> to get things outdoors. So I everything is growing great i hope all of you guys' plants are doing amazing so i wanted to talk to you guys of some of the things that you guys can still get started in the month of april and guess what if you live far far down south you might get direct sell some of these things so let's go ahead and jump into this video so the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is tomatoes who doesn't like a tomato Growing tomatoes is like I tell you guys, it's a garden staple. I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the varieties that I picked up that I told you guys that I didn't pick up, that I didn't show you. So I picked up from Baker's Creek, I picked up this Queen of the Night. Yes. I actually love the name of this, the Queen, Queen of the Night. It is a gorgeous tomato. I'm hoping that it tastes delicious. Because, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I had tried this beautiful tomato before, and it wasn't tasting beautiful. But look at that. It's gorgeous, right? A gorgeous tomato. And the next thing up they gave me is the spoon tomato. <sighs> this spoon tomato, you guys, it's teeny. It is so teeny. It's tiny, 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 tiny. So I'm thinking I will try this in like in a jam, but since it's so small, I think it'll be a nice little jam to kind of like, you know, I think it'll be good in a jam to make it a jam. Cause I don't think it's gonna be sweet. It doesn't look like it's gonna be sweet. It looks like one of those little tarty things, little things that are tarty, I don't know. To me, just, just looking at it just makes me think it's tarty. But I'm gonna try to make it into a jam. I'm definitely gonna plant that one. And this one is a cake yellow. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Uh huh. A woolly cake yellow. It is gorgeous. And the next so one, another gorgeous tomato that I picked up, and I'm absolutely so happy to have these. And the next thing that you guys can get planted in the month of April is definitely you guys is our squash. Squash. So some of the varieties that I'm planting up is the delcata the lemon squash this is new for me the lemon squash i'm quite sure all squash pretty much tastes pretty much the same some just it varies a little but um the lemon squash is new for me to plant i absolutely love the golden zucchini that one y'all already know i'm gonna plant the green zucchini i'm trying not to plant so much but it is not working i say this over and over again every time i'm trying to downsize 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 and i go right back you guys and i'll be wanting to plant more stuff and i know i don't need to i know i don't need to <laughs> i know i don't so it's a sweet meat winter this is a winter squash so you're going to want to plant your winter squash with your summer squash summer and winter needs to be planted at the same time it's just winter squash means that this one right here is going to have a harder skin and the summer squash does not it's not going to hold over the winter months so that's the only thing that uh confuses when people read winter squash does not mean plants in winter okay it means you're going to plant it it will hold throughout the winter okay and the next one up is the scriped italian scraped zucchini that i'm definitely going to be planting Let's jump into the next grouping of, let me go grab this because I got this yellow squash, the dark green zucchini, and a scallop squash. All right, so it doesn't look like I downsized too much. All right, so the next thing is cucumbers. I did plant up six or maybe eight varieties of cucumbers right here this is one of them this is the boston pickling cucumbers i will be pickling my husband loves pickled cucumbers so i definitely be planting pickling cucumbers and i definitely definitely i know i put this one in here 
for you guys because this is my favorite now. I know I put it in this. I don't see it. But it is the lemon cucumber. Y'all try out the lemon cucumber. It is delicious. It is super, super sweet. It is really good. So if you just want to try a different variety of cucumber than, than you did last year, the lemon cucumber is a delicious cucumber. I promise. I promise. I promise. Take my word for it. It's yummy. <laughs> All right. So the next one up is what we absolutely love. And you guys, is watermelon. Watermelon. So get these planted. This is the sugar baby watermelon. Now I do have multiple watermelons and just all kinds. I have here the honeydew. Honeydew. I'll be planting the honeydew. This beautiful kajari. Kajari melon and I'm uh, planting the moon and star. Now, what else did I pile in here? Because I don't want this video to be long. I want you guys to have an idea. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Here goes another cucumber that I'm planting up. And that is the Armenian. That's a very long cucumber. It's another great one to plant. And let's jump into this last one. This is actually, let's jump into this one. It's corn. I actually bought, I think, two different varieties of corn that I'm going to be popping in. But I changed my garden so much. I changed the garden so, so much. And I still think I'm going to go ahead and plant the corn where I normally plant the corn. And that is in the back in ground. I plant my corn in ground. I think that's where I'm still going to go ahead and plant the corn in ground. But I think I'm going to maybe dig a little bit of a, a wider area than what I already have because I normally it's in a four by two so I buy two more different varieties so I want these three right here this is a uh, sweet corn I want to try the white corn and I think I got a cream peaches and cream that's what it's called peaches and cream and a different another one another one but it's inside of my um it's inside of the seed catalog, my seed dictionary. So I didn't want to dig all of them out just to do this content for you guys. But I am planting three different varieties of corn that I'm going to go ahead and get started in little small little plugs so I can pop them out in the garden. I'm telling you, just having things already in uh, individual cells to pop out into the garden where you can pop everything where you want it to go instead of direct sowing it it does help when it comes down to placement so if you want to intercrop like tomatoes with peppers and herbs you know you have a placement when you put them in your own individual cells and you can place them wherever but if you direct sow, then you kind of just leave things as it is so I'd like to go ahead and, di and not direct, so I like to just go ahead and pop my plants into places. And I think it just makes it easier for me. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but that's what I like to do. The only thing that I'm gonna be direct sowing is my peas, okay? So I will just go ahead and direct sow my peas because I already know they're gonna go on my trellis. So I have here is a blue shell snow pea. Then I have here is the golden sweet. And then I have here is the spring blush. And last but not least, I think I have sugar daddy and Oregon giant snow peas. I really like these. I really like these, the big, big ones. They're really nice. Planting the yard long beans into seeds starting trays because i kind of want to do is place them as well because i'm thinking i want to put it on my arbor or i might put it on a trellis in the back i'm not sure yet so i'm going to be putting these bean seeds into a seed starting tray all right and the last but not least is lettuce and radishes let's get these radishes in the ground because once it starts to warm up you don't want them to bulk okay so radishes is still cool you can get a harvest it only takes about roughly 30 days to get a harvest of radishes so if you want to go ahead and get your radishes started go ahead and get your radishes started and then actually you can actually pop these you guys in a seed starting 
tray and you can just let them kind of come up and then pop them where you want to pop them because I like to just pop them anywhere underneath something so you know it works out just popping them into um, a starter tray I, my starter tray is a succulent tray that has 50 little cells that I picked up free at Walmart I did ask for them um, you can ask can you have this succulent tray they might give it to you they might not but just ask and see if they'll give you one for free I have a bunch that they just gave me so like I told you you can actually get see starting trays for free if you know if you want them if you ask for them okay make sure you ask okay I promise you they might hang. Definitely starting all of these beautiful seeds in the month of April. Some you can direct, so it all depends on where you are. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye bye for now. Bye bye you guys. Happy planting. Happy planting. See you guys in the next one.